How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today, we're going to be looking at these Dragon Ball Super Chocolates that I got from Tokyo Central. If we uh, zoom in on the packaging real quick, this is kind of why it uh, caught my eyes, because the popping colors on the package, these kind of look like Crayola Crowns to me, though. I'm kind of wondering uh, their design choice. But I'm hoping that chocolate's going to be really good. As you can see, we have uh, Ultra Instinct Goku here on the front, and then Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Let's go ahead and turn this around. If we go ahead and focus, it says right here that we got about 8 grams of carbs, and there's 2 servings per container. We have 25 milligrams of sodium, and then 8 grams of sugar is uh, pretty much equaling out the carb amount. We have a little bit of a diagram of what's inside. And then we have this official kind of, I don't know if you can see that, let's focus in. Kind of a shiny toy animation seal of approval, I guess. And then this is what the side looks like has all the same kind of uh, logos. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And yeah, I think that this is a really nice packaging and uh, I'm really excited to try this out. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and open this and taste us these guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some scissors in here. There we go. And then we'll pop it off. There we go. And then we're just going to slide this little tray out of here. And there we go. Let's go ahead and bring this in and focus in on it. So right here we have Piccolo, Goku. We have two different hearts, kind of reminds me of Valentine's Day. And then we have Vegeta and Gohan. So we're going to go ahead and try the Piccolo one and see what it's about. I'm not sure if these are different flavors or not, or there's something different in them. But we're going to go ahead and uh, try it out. Let's see. There we go. Oh, they're flat. You know, for some reason, let's focus in on it. For some reason, I thought that these guys were going to be, like, circular. Like a crown, like, on both sides. But for some reason, they are flat. I don't know, maybe it's just because I thought it looked like a crown. It says Dragon Ball Super on the side. The art wraps around the back a little bit. And has a nice depiction of uh, Piccolo. Looks like he's going to be using his, uh, what was it, cannon attack or something like that. Let's go ahead and open this up. Special beam cannon, that's what it was. There we go. Looks to be a milk chocolate. Go ahead and try it out. Hmm. Now I would say that this is more on the lower quality end, but I'd still say that it's better tasting than like a standard Hershey's bar, if that makes any sense. Let's go ahead and open up the Goku one. Let's focus in on it. I like the depiction of, uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but I feel like maybe when they introduced Ultra Instinct, like if there's going to be, I think there's a continuation that they're going to be doing. Um, I feel like they should have introduced this at the end because like, spoilers if you haven't, you know, seen it, but this is pretty OP. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe they should have saved, like, his super OP form for, like, later. Because, like, how can you really ascend beyond that? Though I guess you could really say 
when he hit Super Saiyan 3, what could you do after that too? But it looks as though we just got more milk chocolate in here. So we're not gonna go ahead and try that because it's gonna be the same thing. Gonna grab the heart real quick and bring it into focus. So we have the heart right here. I'm assuming it's the same chocolate, but we're gonna undo it just to see. Yep, looks as though it is the same chocolate. And then I'm assuming these guys are too, but I just wanna kinda take a look at the packaging on these guys real quick versus actually opening them up because I'll save them for later. So has a nice depiction right here of Vegeta, which is interesting because, you know, you'll look at this and you see Vegeta, but like if you look at the old Dragon Ball Z art, they're like even the farthest back, you know, the beginning of Dragon Ball Z, and then mid, you know, Boo Saga or, you know, the Cell Saga. I mean, it's just the difference in like the way he's drawn is so dramatic. Some people don't like the way that he's drawn in Super, but you know, I don't mind. Then we got uh, Gohan right there. And Gohan's all right. Not my favorite character, but not my least favorite. I heard that originally um, they were thinking about trying to make Gohan the main character and kind of like snuffing out Goku. But uh, fans didn't like that and neither did um, the creator as well. Now that just might be an article I read, but uh, that's why Goku came back and why Gohan was so prominent in the Boo Saga and then he kind of ended up not being, at least that's what I think. But yeah, a little bit of nerdy Dragon Ball Super slash Dragon Ball Z information for you guys. But yeah, what do you guys think? Is this something that you could see yourself buying for yourself or maybe for a friend or maybe even for the holidays? Let me know in the comments below. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.